What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a brand new product from Zero Breeze. So if you guys have seen my previous video on their AC unit, they have just came out with a power station and it's gonna be one that is gonna compete with all the other ones on the market currently. So what I'm talking about here is the Elec Hive. This here is about the same size as a Goal Zero Yeti 1500, but this puts out 2200 watts of power. So we're gonna show you guys with some of the gear that we have brought here, what this guy can do. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you guys will notice about it, it's a very neutral color. So it has the black and kind of this silver bronze grayish color. I like this because it doesn't have any bright colors um, to it, like green or orange or anything like that. It has two handles. It has a nice flat top. So if you guys wanted to put your phone or anything else up here, you can. And it has a bunch of ports. There's four AC ports and there are um, standard solar panel ports, type C ports, and standard USB ports as well. So we're not gonna make this this typical power station video that you guys are probably used to. We're not gonna talk about numbers and stuff like that. We're gonna show you guys some power tools and what this thing can power up. So first we have the Starlink. So the Starlink is great for any time you guys are out in the middle of nowhere and you guys wanna have uh, internet. So we have that. We also have a saw. This is just a standard hand saw for cutting two by four. Obviously we're not gonna be cutting any two by four out here, but I have this. I didn't have an electric change saw so I could bring. So we got the saw plugged in. And as you guys can see, it works pretty well. So as you guys saw there, this saw is pulling anywhere between 600 to 800 watts of power at a time. And this thing can handle it without any troubles. Next up, we have a charger for a drill. There are chainsaws that run off a, a battery pack like this. So a lot of people are carrying a portable electric chainsaw. So obviously you can charge that as well. So we got that plugged in and obviously there is a light on and something like this is not gonna pull anything really. So it's gonna allow um, this to pretty last, pretty much last forever. So on here it says hours to empty. It says 99.9 .9 hours. So this little guy isn't gonna do anything. So what's next is this guy. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is a very old school heater that a lot of people used to use in their homes. Um, and this pulls an insane amount of watts. So we're gonna plug this in, turn it all the way up to max and see what it pulls out. So it's beeping at me because it's not on flat surface. There we go. So we're gonna turn it all the way up to max. And then we'll see it creep up here, 700. So about 700, almost 800 watts. So it's pulling almost the same as the electric saw. And I wonder if we can use these two together. It does pull together about 1600 um, watts and this thing can put out 2200. So essentially we can use these together. So let's try it out. So as you guys saw there, this can handle both the heater and the electric saw at the same time. And it did go up to about 1600 watts of power output. And normally when you guys try to do something like this together, it normally blows the fuse or just shuts off the power station with a normal power station. But since this is such a high output power station, it can handle all that. So the other cool thing about this is that why we actually wait for this to heat up is that you can run up to four of these solar panels just out you know in the middle of nowhere and they're super thin so you can pretty much tuck them away 
anywhere you'd like. And they have pockets for the wire. And then there is a little kickstand so you can angle it the proper direction to the sun. We're staying pretty toasty right in front of this heater. But the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this. So this is their fast charger. This will charge our 2200 watt power station in two and a half hours. And that's incredibly fast. So normally with something this size, it will take over 12 hours to charge with your standard um, AC port at home. But with the help of this, you can still use your regular 120 volt at home and use this to charge this battery if you are in a rush because most of us usually aren't prepared so we usually think about the power station last but if you have two and a half hours you can go from zero to 100 with this power station in two and a half hours all right guys so as you guys saw there this 2200 watt zero breeze can handle all of this at the same time including this heater that is drawing close to 800 watts of power at a time but that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys are interested in something like this, we will have it down in the description. There might even be a promo code that you guys can use to purchase something like this down there as well. So be sure to check that out. But if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do so and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.